February 9th, 2021, I was going to kill myself. Luckily, I reached out to my family and I spent the next seven days in a mental hospital. After being released, I jumped from prescription medication to prescription medication, progressively getting worse and worse as the day went by. But luckily, everything changed when I found not my truth, but the truth. Since November, I have changed drastically every single month. If you follow me on social media, you probably know that I have grown really, really strong in my faith in Jesus. But why is that? Well, first, go ahead and like the video so we can hit 35 likes, and then I'll go ahead and explain everything. Now, of course, like most of y'all watching, I was raised within Christianity. But over time, I allowed myself to get indoctrinated with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense, causing me to be filled up with so much pride. I tried being the alpha male jumping from Manosphere Podcast to Manosphere Podcast. I tried to be an atheist, but I quickly realized the illogical nature of that fallacy. I went and dabbled in a few other religions, but most specifically, Islam. I even considered crystals and astrology along with some anagrams, but after doing all of that, I was still left feeling desolate and empty. I realized that Jesus himself pops up in all of these religions. All of these other religions deny his power. What does that say about him? I began to study the validity of the Bible, and I learned this. The Bible has never been rewritten. Both Christian and non-Christian historians alike have found immense proof that Jesus actually did resurrect from the dead. He didn't just resurrect and dip out. He hung around the earth for 40 days and revealed himself to 500 people. But most importantly, in my search of peace, I realized that Jesus loved me even whilst I denied him for two years. And after understanding that, my whole entire world shifted for the better. I don't like smiling in photos, bro. My loneliness has been the worst that it has ever been in my entire life. 90% of the conversations that I have with people are completely dead. If it's not humorless malarkey, it's gossip. If it's not gossip, it's debauchery. If it's not debauchery, it's malice. If it's not malice, it's the same family drama that you've been talking about since March. Ever since I dedicated my life to Christ, I've come to the realization that the plurality and frivolousness is the core and natural state of most conversation. One of my favorite quotes from Jesus is this, God's light came into the world, but people loved their darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it, for they fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so that others can see that what they do is what God wants. I used to be one of those people that absolutely loved my darkness and constantly indulged in deplorable, hateful conversation. But now that I see the light, I can see how dark this world is. And to be honest with you, I'm tired of being here. I am desperately longing for the day where I can see my savior, Jesus, face to face in the new heaven and new earth because of my faith in his death, burial, and resurrection. I don't have any friends my age that follow Christ. You need like-mindedness with friendships. And if there is no like-mindedness, that cuts out a huge relatability factor. Well, Jay, why don't you just go get some Christian friends? Okay, let's talk about that. People who claim to be a Christian. The age of being a halfway Christian is over. That lukewarmness will land you hot in hell. How do you claim to be a follower of Christ, but you act like a follower of Satan? Why are you still cussing and joking like that with your coworkers, friends, and classmates? Why are you still listening to music that glorifies everything that Jesus came to set you free from? Sin. Why are you still trying to justify your sexual immorality by saying, oh, God knows my heart. And you mean to tell me that you still can't read your Bible every day? Still? Really? We as Christians are supposed to be the light of this world. Are you lighting this world up or are you aiding and darkening it? I mean, Jesus clearly said, if you love me, you're gonna keep my commandments. So based off of that statement, do you love him? Now I know most of the people watching this are not interested in following Jesus or any other form of organized religion. So none of this applies to you. But I do wanna ask you this. You got your passport stamped all the way up and your Instagram is fire but did doing all that traveling fill that empty void inside of you? You finally got that degree you wanted, that apartment, that job, but did that fill that empty void inside of you? You finally publicized your sexuality, you celebrated all of Pride Month, you changed up your pronouns, you changed your hair color every other month, but that void inside of you. You finally became the alpha male, you run through all the women, or you're in your whole phase and you are sexually liberated. But after all of those experiences, did that fill the empty void inside of your heart? You got all the best crystals. You got the tarot cards, the spell books, you know the zodiac like the back of your hand, and you know the enneagrams. You're doing all the best yoga practices, but did that fill the void inside of your heart, or are you gonna have to keep adding more and more witchcraft to your arsenal? I'm here to tell you this. God loves you so much that he sent his only son into the world to take the price of your sin. He died on that cross, and in the process of doing so, 
He felt the darkest, deepest, painful moments of your life and had the wrath of God poured out on him so you would not have to. And he defeated sin and death by rising from the dead three days later. The only way to be right with God is through a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you're confused about how that works, I want you to read Romans 10 verses 9, 10, and 11 and read Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9. Christianity is not a religion, it's a relationship with the real person. I understand that most of you have tried church and you hated it, because so did I, but you have not tried Jesus. Accepting Jesus gave me life and saved me from suicide. I'm truly thankful that I am still here because I think about all the people that I've met and the lives that I have changed on the way and the lives that have changed me so far on the way. And I am truly, truly thankful that I am here and I would love for you to experience the same peace and love that I feel from Christ every single day. My main goal for this YouTube channel is to start productive conversations. So if you have my social media, send me a message. Or if you have my phone number, text me, call me, FaceTime me, and let's chop it up. And I actually mean that, like, you can hit me up. Please send this video to three of your peers, coworkers, friends, classmates, whatever. But as always, remember to stay productive and don't act stupid. I only survived because of Jesus Christ. Huh? Yo, I didn't start a real martyr. Walk in HS on my left when I step. Huh? It ain't just me and my brothers. Didn't have no cash, now I got that splash that wouldn't have dared in the past like Santa.